Get up there. Get up, 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 up. to the left, to the left. Yeah. Get up, 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 up. Perfect. Get in there. Be very quiet. We're hunting wabbits. Or at least I think a wabbit got into our crops. I'm assuming it was a wabbit because wabbits love carrots, don't they? And we're going to find out because this uh, the culprit left a trail of carrots behind. So I think if we follow those carrots, we'll find the, uh, the thief. You can see right here, two missing carrot plots. So let's follow the carrots and let's, uh, let's see who is responsible for stealing my carrots. Look at this, all the way out, all the way down the path, right to Freddy. And it, oh, ha! There he is! It's a bunny wabbit. You got him, Fred. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. We, we still need to uh, be sure we got the right guy. This might not have been the right guy. So let's see what's he got inside. Maybe he's got carrots in his pockets. Yeah, uh, nope. Hmm. Okay, well, it could have been a case of mistaken identity. I don't know. Or maybe he's got an accomplice around here somewhere. <laughs> or maybe he doesn't put carrots in his pockets. I don't know. Anyway, let's just leave the bones here as a deterrent for would-be carrot thieves that might try to get in here and steal more carrots in the future. So, yeah. Anyway, welcome back to Vintage Story. I did discover a rabbit in here. He was hopping around, eating my carrots. And, uh, yeah, I got him. I got him. He was the right one. He was the only one. But the question is, how the heck did he get in here? I mean, the gates are closed, right? So I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe he spawned over here on the grass. Or he climbed over the house. Now that it's all connected on the other side. Or maybe he jumped up from the edge here and climbed over. I don't know. I just put this back in, this fence here. I had this here before, but I didn't like the, like the way it looked. I wanted it more open. But I put it back to prevent rabbits from getting in that spawn here. I'm not really sure. Something we'll have to keep an eye on. But uh, hopefully the bones here do deter any other, other would-be thieves. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and scythe our crops. I got a scythe here. It's made of copper. I whipped it up. Well, I blacksmithed it up. And check that out. Wow! So this thing harvests six blocks at a time, huh? That's pretty awesome. Do the whole thing all in one shot. Wow! Now, does it get more crops, I wonder? I don't know. Does it give us any more seeds? Is that all of it? We only got four carrot seeds back? Oh my gosh, that little bunny ate all my carrots. And the seeds too, you little jerk. Now, we're going to have to check the nutrient levels this time around because the crops do consume nutrients. And we want to make sure that we have, um, that they have enough nutrients in order to grow. So we might have to do like a crop rotation. We'll check that out. Whoops, yeah, throw that in there. Fla flax fibers. And I also wanted to go into town. Well, into town. To meet the trader. <laughs> Trader's over here in a little wagon. And we have six rusty gears. So we can go buy stuff from him. And we have the temporal gear too that I wanted to use today. And uh, set our spawn point. Apparently that's what that is for. All right, let's put the copper side the way. Look at that thing. The thing is awesome. Now, here's a funny thing. Well, not too funny, really, but ironic. It's about um, Elmer Fudd, who used to have a shotgun, now has a scythe. So when he hunts down the rabbit, he chases him around with a scythe instead of a shotgun now. So, yeah, some kind of political statement, which really is weird. I think the scythe is more sinister than the shotgun, frankly. Anyway, all right, let's let's um, let's check out our Terra Preda. You can see that some of the nutrients are missing because the crops consume them. So what, what do we have here? We want to put the carrots back in. Carrots need 40K. That's potassium, right? Now, it looks like we still have enough K here. There's 48K. Uh, not quite enough over here. All right, let's put our carrots right here where there's enough K. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And apparently I had some seeds inside. Um, and now the onions need 35 P. 35 P. So do we have 35 P somewhere? I think I'm going to move them over here. There's plenty of P. P is uh, phosphorus. And we're going to put them over here because I think we're going to have to move the flax over to where there's more K. Because flax, where's our flax? Flax requires 50k, right? So that's going to have to go over here now. Yes, yeah, so we're going to have to rotate these over here. So let's put these guys there. And then the onions here. And what else do we have? 
One little turnip seed. Where can we put a little turnip guy? We'll put the turnip here, and then the rest will be spelt, which require 40 N. So that ought to do. All right, I think it's time to get to the trader before the sun goes down. Hey, maybe we should consult the rabbit bones to find out who the culprit is. Think they'll tell us? I don't know. Do you guys hear that? I hear like little chickadees, like little chicken chickadees. I'm wondering if there's some little chickadees out there. So maybe we can capture them or corral them in a uh, little pen and then we can raise chickens. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to capture them and we'll head over to the trader with our rusty gears and see what they have for sale on the way. Hopefully we can make it before sundown. All right, out we go. Fred, you're in charge. Keep those bunnies away, buddy. All the bunnies down here. I wonder if they just climbed up the ladder and got out somehow. I, I don't know. It's a mystery. We will consult those rabbit bones <laughs> sometime soon. And I hear the chicks right over here. Gonna have to be really quiet now. Shh. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. Uh, okay, this way. I think we're going in the right direction. Now, they're really tiny, and they're going to be hard to see, and they're super fast. Aw, it's a tiny little carcass. It's probably a chicken carcass. Oh, I hear them. They're so close. I don't want to scare them away. Let's get our fence out. Maybe we should make a corral and then try to scare them into it. You know, chase them into it. I wish there was a way to bait them in, like seeds. Or some something, some kind of feed, maybe. I know there's a food trough. I just don't know if it's going to attract them. We could try it. Set up a little pen and then put some uh, some food in there. Oh, oh, they're so close. Just can't see them. They're so teeny. Oh, I see in this bush. My arm is so crunchy. <laughs> I don't think I'm being very stealthy. Oh, there he is. He's going in the water. Oh, there he goes. He's in the water. Oh, look at that little guy. <laughs> He's so teeny and cute. Oh, all by yourself. The little carcass over there must have been maybe a mom or a dad or brother or sister or something. I don't know. All right, little little guy, just stay right there. Hopefully he doesn't drown. Can we, um... Oh, dang it. I want to make a little pen here for him real quick and scare him into it. Oh, he's going the other way rat right now the sun's going down here let's put it right over here and see if we can direct him into a little chicken coop he's temporarily anyway all right open that up and yeah we'll put food trough in there maybe all right where did he go we gotta make sure we corral him in the right direction no little chickadee okay that's not him <laughs> i still hear chirping Oh, there he is. He's in the water. Dude, you're not a duck. Okay, we're going to try to direct him into this little pond over here. I wish you could just pick him up. Oh, there he goes. Nice. That's a good little good little lad. There you go. Up we go. Up we go. Up, 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 up. Up, up. Now. Oh, you little stinker. Almost had him. Maybe that gate's going to come down. Come on, this way now. This way. There you go. To the right. <laughs> He's so great. I love him. Up we go. Up we go. Get up. Up, 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 up. In you go. You're safe, buddy. Now I don't think anything can eat him in there either. So he should be safe. We're going to give him some lighting. Whoops. I'm sinking. You got to give him light because they will despawn, I think, without light. At least that's what I read on the wiki. So we'll see if this uh, prevents him from despawning. So we got gotcha. you. Nice and safe. Now let's check on a food trough trough right here we got a small trough and a large trough he's just a little guy so a small one should do oh it's easy just three boards and then we'll have to put some grain in there all right well we'll do that maybe we should do that tonight before we go to the um trader yeah let's do that let's do that quick i don't want him to die of starvation so we should put some food in there for him and then we'll head to the trader in the dark i think that will be okay in fact, here's some grain right here. Wild grain. It's mature spelt. Grab it. Beautiful. All right, let's grab our wood boards. We'll just make it out of maple. Got plenty of maple. Let's just make it right now and see how this is done. Small trough. 
And maybe we should grab some more spelt just in case. I'm not sure how much we put in there. Whoops, where's my spelt? Actually, I'm gonna give him the uh I'm gonna give him flax, because flax is not as satisfying or nutritious when you turn it into bread and stuff. Speaking of bread, let's eat some bread right now. I've got plenty of it. Alright, let's go feed our little friend here if I can find him. He's right over here by a pond. There's the torches. There he is. You still there, buddy? Oh, oh, oh I thought we lost you. <laughs> okay, we're going to drop this in here. Hopefully he can't climb out on top of that thing. And now we'll put some flax in there. So we just... Oh, just right click. Fill it up. Look at that. Portions eight. It even tells you how many portions are in there. I think eight's going to be more than enough for that little guy. <laughs> His weight is right now is good. So I guess he's been fed recently. Oh, you can actually see the trader from here. He's got a torch. Let's just go. All right, here we are at the traders. Hopefully he's still open. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll see. Uh, oh, yeah, he's here. 24-7-365. Huh? I know what it's like. All right, so what you got, buddy? Oh, excuse you. What? What's up? I don't speak that language. He's got beeswax. Wow. So he's got a supply of four beeswax for two gears. So yeah, this is stuff we can buy. This is the stuff we can sell to him. Halite stone. I don't have any halite stone. I wish I did. Black bronze knife. Really, buddy? A wolf pup. How am I going to get a wolf pup? Can you capture wolf pups? Eight gears for one pup. That seems like a pretty good price. I just don't know how to get them. A ball fired for one gears. Wooden crate. All right, well, I, I'm not, I don't have any of that. So what? here's what we're going to do. I'm going to buy... Um, I think we're going to buy the beeswax. So we can make a lantern. In fact, let's buy six beeswax. And that's all my gears. Well, this is going to have to do. Buy and sell. All right, pleasure doing business with you. And now we can make... Um, we can make the lanterns now. So we don't have to carry around torches and... Um, and these oil lamps, <laughs> they just don't provide very much light. So we can make we can make candles with the beeswax. Oh, fox! Keep that fox away from our little chick. Oh gosh, you know what? I think the fox could actually climb over this and get our chick. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's still there. Okay, I'm gonna move this back a little bit because I'm worried predators might be able to climb in. Ow! You little... Man, they sneak up on you and then they run away. <laughs> Nothing. Alright, that should do. I don't think anything can climb up in there now. Did you eat anything? No. Nope. Eight portions still available. You better eat your dinner. Want to grow up big and strong. Alright, let's get home. Okay. I think, while it's dark, this is a good time to make our lanterns and test out how bright they are. So let's uh, let's knock all the torches out <laughs> and get the house as dark as possible because I think these lanterns are super, super bright. We'll leave the oil lamp. That's not a big deal. Uh, whoa, what's that? Oh, gosh. Hey, hey, there's somebody up here. Get out of my house. Oh, my. All right. Uh, oh, dang it, dang it, dang it. Hold on. They snuck in. You really got to get the glass windows put in. <laughs> Maybe they're spawning up there. I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm just going to block that off for the time being. Let's carve this, uh, this fella up. Nothing. All right. Now I can't see anything. Hold on. Let's get our... We're going to need all the ingredients. We got the beeswax to make the candles. But we're going to need two copper plates. And we're going to need some glass. We get a little bit of glass in here. And we need to get more out of the bloom and bloomery. We should have 12 glass blocks in here. And that's all we're going to need. Grab all the bricks, too. All right. Let's check out the lantern recipe. So we're going to need candles. That's easy peasy. We've got the beeswax for that. One and two. And we're going to make a copper lantern, or two of them, rather. Plain glass slabs on the sides. The copper plate in the bottom. The candle there. So we have two slabs here. I'm going to have to change the orientation, I think, for this to work properly. We're going to need two more. So let's use our saw and cut up two more. There we go. And that should do it. So we want two lanterns and two plates down here. One and two. And let's put one in the hand. And we're going to hang one up and see how, uh, see how bright 
you can make this room wow they are super super bright aren't they holy moly way brighter than the torch all right let's hang one up let's put one right here whoop hmm okay you cannot you can't hang it on the half slab that's what that is right there but we can stick it on the wall that's fine still got plenty of head space and it's super bright let's see all by itself it does a pretty good job at lighting up this the whole the whole first floor I mean, this, this corner's a little dark, but um, for right now, we'll put up some torches until down the road, we'll be able to make more of those lanterns. Just need more copper plates and beeswax and all that, but we do have a beehive. Uh, we just have to wait for our bees to populate the skep. Then we can get more beeswax, and I can whip up some more um, copper plates. That shouldn't be a problem, and glass too. All right, so let's put our glass in. And I don't think we're going to have enough. In fact, I know we're not going to have enough. I was going to make all that glass right there, but we don't have enough glass. So let's go down here, grab some finished goods, grab some pine planks, and I'll fill in some of this window area with pine. Whoop, can I reach? Excuse me. Yeah, I'll put some pine here and there. And we'll put this here. Because we got these two right here as well. I mean, I could make half slabs, but I don't like the half slabs in the windows. I prefer the full-size blocks. I just think they look nicer. Maybe I'll change that up later when I get more glass, but I think that's fine. And now our house is completely enclosed. And we won't get drifters drifting in. Unannounced. <laughs> I don't like unannounced visitors. I kill them, usually. <laughs> that's how much I dislike them. All right, so let's put this thing back in the hand. So bright. Wow, I love it. Yeah, so much brighter than a torch or an oil lamp. All right, now, now that it's safe up there, let's move our bed upstairs. Get it off the first floor. And we're going to grab our temporal gear and figure out how to use this thing, too. Um, in fact, let's put that back in there. I can just pick this right up. Uh, with two empty hands. That's how this works. This is a mod that I've installed. It makes it easy to move containers that have contents inside. So I think what I'm going to do is put the bed right here in the corner and we'll put we'll put this right here. Put the bed here. Oh, no, 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 beyond. Right there. Oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> we'll move this over a little bit more. It's a foot locker right next to the bed. And now we can set our spawn point with our temporal gear. They call it a returning point. And I think how this works is you point toward a location where you want to set the spawn. Um, and we'll just put it right here, I guess. Right there. Looks nice. And we twist it and turn it. I'm just holding down the right mouse button. There we go. That's our spawn point. Um, the only way to test this, of course, is to die. And I don't want to die, so I'm not going to test it. So we're going to have to wait until something kills us, or we kill ourselves inadvertently. <laughs> and then we'll end up right there by the bed, hopefully. So there you go. Pretty cool stuff. I think what I'm going to do right now is go check on my little chickadee, make sure he's okay. And then uh, I'll make some more copper plates and some more lanterns for the next episode. So yeah, in fact, let's go check on him right now. I want to make sure he's still alive. And I'm going to look around for some other chicks and chickens, too, that we can scare into that little pen. There's got to be more around here somewhere. Unless our little chickadee here was an only child. Uh, there he is. He's alive. He's still good weight. Yeah, his weight's good. Did you eat breakfast? You didn't eat anything, kid. What the heck? No appetite? Go on, eat. Maybe he doesn't eat from a trough. Maybe just the adults do. Um, all right, here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go look for another chicken off camera and try to scare one into that pen. And uh, hopefully we'll have two chickens by next time. We can start um, start breeding them. Make new chickens. Get feathers and chicken meat. Oh, oh, there's a big one. Maybe that's mom or dad. I think that's a rooster. All right, perfect. I'm going to scare him right over. <laughs> Where'd you go, you little stinker? He's a little faster than the baby. Oh, that's a rooster, all right. Sounds like a rooster. I wonder if that's if that's dad. There he is. Go, dad, go. Cool. This might work. 
Oh, no, 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 no. I want you in the water, dude. Yeah, in the water. There you go. Oh, oh I can't open the door, though. The little guy's going to run. Um, shoot. Okay, I'm going to have to make a second gate. Yeah, I'm going to have to make another gate. Let me go back and make, um, make another gate. I hear another... I hear another chick. <gasps> and a wolf. Oh, no. I think there's another chick out here, guys. But there's a wolf nearby. Oh, buddy. Yes, there's definitely another chick here. Oh, no. I just scared his dad away. Come on out, little buddy. I'm a friend. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's here. Oh, there he goes. Oh, look at that little chick. Oh, he's so cute. Look at him go. He's a little, little, little brown chick. All right, run. Run, kid, run. Right past your sibling's bones. <laughs> Close your eyes. All right, well, he's heading in the right direction. I'm going to go grab um, some planks. I'm going to make a new gate so I can have a two-gate system and trap them in that way. Oh, oh, another chick. Another little baby chick. That's three little chicks. Three little chicks and a dad. <laughs> Maybe those bones are mom's bones. I don't know. All right, we got him going in the right direction. I still didn't set up my, my two-gate system. I do have the gate gates with me. Oh, he's running right in the perfect spot. Kid, slow it down. Oh, there's the other one right there. Oh, maybe they're trying to get to the little sibling here. That's possible. Oh, dang it. That yeah, always goes in cockeyed like that. It's weird. Alright, let's open that up. Let's see if we can get him in. This, this is going to be a little tricky. Oh, no, kid. You go in the wrong direction. Turn around. There we go. Oh, 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 oh. Aw, look how cute. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Just don't drown, little buddy. <laughs> there you go. Up you go. Perfect. All right, take a little little to the right. Little to the left. Up we go. Up, 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 up. Climb up. Climb up. There we go. Good kid. Get in there. Look at that, guys. The system works. Now, we got Dad watching over there, but there was another little chick over here. So let's see if we can save the little guy. Oh, there he is. He's right there. Okay. Um, let's go around this way. Run him in. <laughs> we got a little black chick, a little white chick, and a little brown chick. Get up there. Get up, 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 up. To the left, to the left. Yeah. Get up, 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 up. Perfect. Get in there. Look at that. Three little chicks. They're so cute when they're little chicks, but when they grow up to be spy chickens, we can't trust them. <laughs> Although, here's the thing about animal husbandry in this game. After several generations of raising them, they become domesticated, and they won't run away from you anymore like this. So they, they, they will trust you, which is pretty cool. This guy's trying to peck his way out of the gate. I'm going to keep an eye on you, pal. Keep an eye on you. Look how cute they are. <laughs> All right. I don't know about Dad. Let me go see what Dad's up to, because we do need a rooster. We're going to need roosters and hens in order for them to breed. So, we might need this guy. See if I can find him. Here, chicky, 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 chicky. Oh, oh, there he is. There's Dad. Okay, let's see if we can get him over there. <laughs> Come on, Dad, I got your kids. They're all, they're in, they're in a good place right now. Damage tier zero. Creature weight is good. I'm going to have to open that gate. I'm sorry about your wife. I didn't do it. I did find her bones, but it wasn't me, I swear. Get up there. <laughs> okay, go check on the kids. Maybe dad will eat. Still eight portions in there. Yeah, I think I'm going to put a roof on here, too, just to be on the safe side. I don't want something to get in there and eat our poor little chickens. So I think I'll make something out of wood. So anyway, that's it for now, folks. Once again, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.